Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Dustin Revere and today I'm going to do a review of the Bethlehem Champion Torch. Uh, this is a great torch and um, it's a two-stage um, torch that has an inner and an outer fire. Uh, this is a great torch because it's surface mixed so it's going to give a really nice warm kind of soaking heat and it's going to be really quiet in your studio. Um, so it's a really good torch for uh, somebody starting out or if they want something available right now. I know that Mountain Glass always has these available so uh, you can go to their website, check it out and pick one up. If you're interested in getting all your stuff uh, right now for starting out or like a kit for everything that you would need, um, I just made up some kits for Mountain Glass with my recommended tools and uh, this torch is included in the professional kit. So um, try it out. I really love it and I want to thank Mountain Glass for sending these torches out uh, for me to review and thank you Bethlehem for making such good torches and uh, let's get to it. I'm going to show you the flames then demonstrate a spoon real fast um, so you can kind of see the, the different uh, flame types that you would use on your everyday work. So this has two stages. The first stage is the smaller flame and it's controlled by the knobs that are closest to you. The recommended PSI for this torch is uh, 5 of the fuel and uh, 20 of the oxygen. So you just uh, can adjust the inner flame to what you want. It's got a nice detail flame. And then you can adjust the outer flame. It's got a pretty nice big flame for doing all kinds of bigger work like marinis or cane, bigger sculptures, bigger bubbles. Uh, it's a very versatile torch. So first thing we're gonna do is heat up our 12 millimeter tube. I'll flare this open a little bit and that'll uh, give me the right size for the connection. Open that up. And then I have some 25 mil tubing here. This is just some clear tubing. And um, I'm using clear tubing on these demonstrations because um, it's kind of like a good neutral, like some colors are going to move faster, some are going to move slower than this, and this way it will kind of give you a good idea um, of how the clear is going to melt and you can compare it to all the other torches um, that you've seen me review. You can heat this up a little bit and open it up with one of these, these uh, tapered reamers. Now we're going to connect these two and I'm going to push that little flame a little bit bigger and that way it'll cover the whole circumference of the holes that I made. Heat it up and then we're going to stick them together, push a little bit and then pull and that should give you a real nice clean seal. And just let that set up, keep it nice and straight on center. So now I'm going to adjust the torch so that it has <clears throat> A smaller flame and I'm just going to go in and hold it in one spot um, because if you notice there's a little bit of condensation today uh, it's raining a little bit in July in Berkeley which I think is maybe the first time I can remember that so heat it up a little bit and then start turning it and then it should uh, prevent it from cracking so as it gets hot you can See it's going to start to move around and turn up your torch a little bit if you want. Heat it up and then pull a little bit, just a little bit and then you can put it in your either your blade marver or this one is called an Infinivy and um, they're, they're both pretty good. I like this one, it gives a really nice sharp cut. Heat it up. And you can pop it off and this will be ready for your next piece. Now we're going to turn on the larger flame and just uh, pull this off a little bit and create a round bottom. So you heat that up, pull it off and then once it's off you want to heat it up again and then blow out so you create a round bottom.
After you've created the round bottom, you want to attach a punny, a hot seal punny. So heat up your punny, marble it to a nice little point, and then just stick it right in the center, push and pull just a little bit. And once you have that on there, you want to heat this up, go back and forth, maybe, I don't know, four or five seconds each direction. And that way I'm going to use the whole width of the flame at a diagonal, which will make it even wider and create a wider spot that I'm going to heat because I'm going to pull this down and make the shape of a pipe. Just heating up, nice and even heat. You want the back or the part that's towards the mouthpiece to be just a little bit hotter than where the bowl is and that way it'll create a really nice taper. Just pull. You can see that's basically almost the shape of a pipe already. So let that set up for a second. You want to make sure that this stays on center when you do this and that um, it's a really nice even pull. I'm going to turn down the outer flame and then go in here and make a Maria and that's going to be where the mouthpiece is. And heat that up and just push a little bit. That creates a little wider area and you can blow on this part too if you want. Expand it a little bit. Now once you get that done you're going to take off your punty. And take off any excess glass that you may have. Then we'll put the big flame back on for melting down the bowl part. So just heat it up, really nice even heat. And you can see that this torch is at uh, pretty much maximum, but it's still really quiet, which is nice. Um, it's definitely got a little bit more in it, but uh, this is about all you need for, for melting down the bowl part. So as it heats up, you want to condense it back a little bit to thicken up the glass kind of collect it there so that when you blow out you can have the same wall thickness throughout even though you're blowing this wider uh, you can still be able to retain that that even wall thickness throughout your piece so as it heats up you can see that front part's thicker I'm gonna blow out a little bit Now I'm going to melt this down one or two more times, uh, make sure that it's nice and even, the wall thickness is even, maybe grab a little bit more glass from the, the stem so I can blow a little bit bigger of a bowl. There you go. So that's uh, your shape of a pipe. We're going to turn off the outer flame now. Let that cool. Now we're going to kind of turn this down. We're going to pull a little bit out and then blow. So I pull it out. Blow out that hole. You can adjust the size of this hole by uh, heating it up and letting it condense a little bit or blowing to expand it. And that way you can get just the right size hole. Now we're gonna push that hole Turn a little bit, make sure that hole is always facing away from you. 
heat it up to remove any um, lines that the, the graphite put in. And let's put the carb in there. Let's put the carb on the right side this time. Once you have your carb in there, you want to heat up the bottom and we're going to make a flat bottom. It's good to hold your piece like this so you can heat it up right under where that hole is going to be. So you make sure that your piece is centered. Heat it up, then push it on the marver, flatten it out. You see it made a nice flat spot for the piece to rest. There we go. And once that's done, you can turn down your flame. We can take this off. Now, if I was working in color right now, I would be putting this in the kiln. Uh, but because it's clear, uh, it's a lot more resistant to thermal shock and I can just heat it up like this. So I'm going to heat it up and I like to use my diamond shears to take pieces off but you guys can use uh, anything you want. Heat it up, stabilize that a little bit. Now I'm going to condense that, kind of create a score mark with my shears. Knock that off. And this one, there's a little piece of glass that's extra, so I can take this other piece of glass, kind of swipe it along there, and pull off any extra glass. And once you pull that off, then you can grab your reamer or any tool you want, kind of even it out, and then your paddle, and flatten it out. And there you go, there's a, a spoon made on the Bethlehem uh, champion. Uh, it's a great torch. Um, it's available at Mountain Glass. Um, it's also available at Mountain Glass in the starter kits, the professional level kit, which comes with a scut kiln and all the other tools that you'll need to get started. Um, this particular torch is signed by me, uh, letting you guys know that it was the one used in the video. And uh, it's actually going to come with this spoon that I made. So make sure you hit up Mountain Glass and uh, let them know that uh, you saw the video and you want the torch and you also get the spoon. Thanks guys, um, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button for more. And somebody's at the door. Thanks guys.